Hi, I'm Cody Blois, Member of Parliament in King's Hands, and I am a goaltender. And I'm very pleased today to be able to provide just a couple of remarks uh, to open the St. Mary's University Centre for the Study of Sport and Health Goaltender Symposium. And when I heard this from uh, Dr. Cheryl, I was so excited because I think it's a great study to be able to look uh, at the role of goaltending. A little bit about my background, uh, prior to getting involved in public office, I was a competitive athlete both in hockey and softball. Um, but I was a draft pick of the Halifax Mooseheads in 2008, uh, competed for four years with the Maritime Hockey League with the Amherst Ramblers and the Halifax Lions before going off to Brock University for a year and actually finishing up my degree. I'm a proud alumni of St. Mary's University where I was able to watch Anthony Peters do magic things every time and I was able to proudly watch from the bench as uh, he backstopped uh, us to uh, many victories including the best when we were able to beat UNB. Uh, when I looked at the symposium, uh, I think it is just so remarkable, all the different sessions that we have, whether or not it's uh, Dr. Jim Cameron and Dr. Dr. Lori uh, Deturbide in terms of looking at goalies' personalities. I'm very excited to see that session on October 16th. Uh, obviously having Sammy Joe Small in terms of talking about the development of female hockey, uh, to have Cassie in terms of her background as a goaltender uh, uh, from a Punjabi background, and obviously uh, Justin Goldman looking at the aspects of mental health and goaltending. And I think it's a very unique position, goaltending. Uh, if a forward misses an assignment, maybe the coach will know, uh, but certainly not too many in the rink. Uh, if a defenseman falls down or misses an assignment, well, yes, again, maybe a few more people will know, uh, but it's not the end of the world. If a goaltender makes a mistake or lets in a soft goal, the whole crowd knows, and usually whether or not it's 100 people or 10,000, they'll let you know about it. So I think it's a very unique position. Uh, growing up in uh, my background, it was akin to a brotherhood or a sisterhood where uh, those who have played the position know it's unique. It has unique mental characteristics, and I'm very excited to see all the different elements of the study and the goaltending symposium. So I'd like to thank Dr. Cheryl McDonald, all the participants as part of the symposium. I'd like to thank you for your interest in it and uh, look forward to all the sessions in the days ahead. And uh, thank you to St. Mary's University for all the work that they do and particularly for our goaltenders.